This training demonstration is a brief outline of the operational instructions of this product and is not meant to be a replacement or a complete supplement of the owner's manual instructions provided with your equipment. We strongly recommend that all operators thoroughly read and understand the owner's manual and ask their supervisor if they have any questions. It is possible that I may not mention every important item listed in the owner's manual. The GSP label printing scale allows users to connect their PC to the scale over a network for easy PLU creation, price updates, label file access, customized logos, and maintenance. To get started, you will need a networked PC running either Windows XP, 7, 8.1, or 10, the Pro versions, a network switch, and an Ethernet cable. Additionally, the scale will need a unique IP address and you will need to know the network subnet mask and default gateway, all of which can be obtained from your network administrator. Set up your PC and scale so they can be easily accessed at the same time. This is for setup purposes only and can be rearranged later. The scale only has to be hooked up to the network when updating, transferring data, labels, PLUs, or prices. It does not have to be plugged into the network to function normally. Turn on both the scale and the computer. After your PC has booted up, open up your internet browser and go to www.gsp30b.gfesupport.com. On this site, you can download or view copies of the Quick Start Guide, Instruction Manual, and the User Manual for the SLP-5 Lite software. This is also where you will download the software and request the software license. Click on the SLP-5 software download link. When the tab pops up at the bottom of the screen asking if you want to save the file, click on Save to save to your default downloads location or choose Save As to pull up the Save As option and choose a different location. The zip file is small, so it will not take very long to download, but of course, that all depends on your download speed. Once the file has finished downloading, you can click on Open Folder in the tab at the bottom of the Internet Explorer window, or if you are not using Internet Explorer or an Internet browser that has similar functions, open your Downloads folder or other downloads location. Right-click on the SLP-5 Lite zip file and choose Extract All from the options. In the window that pops up, click Extract or choose a different location to extract the files to, and then click Extract. Open the SLP5 Lite folder in the window that pops open, and click on the SLP5 Lite underscore 220C file. This will begin the software installing. You might get this security warning. Click Run to continue installing the software. After a couple of green progress bars and a couple of screens flashing by, the install wizard will pop up. To continue with the installation, click on the next button. This next window is asking what folder you would like the program to install to and who should be able to use it. Click browse to choose a different location and choose whether you would like everyone to have access or just yourself. Then click on next. A window with a status bar will pop up and the program will install. This may take a few moments. Once the program has finished installing, you'll get this window. Click Finish to close out the installation wizard. On the desktop, there will now be two new icons. The orange ScaleLink Pro 5 Lite is for adding and editing PLUs, editing prices, setting up sales campaigns, and various other functions. The green ScaleLink Pro 5 Lite Maintenance is for making customized labels and logos. We'll leave those alone for now. It's time to pay attention to the scale. If you haven't touched the scale since turning it on, the display will be showing the date and time. Hit the Enter key to finish starting up the scale. The scale will take several moments to initialize. Once the display shows all zeros, it will be in its normal operation mode. Type in 6000 and press the Mode key. Next type in the password, 495344, and press the PLU key. The display will stay the same. Press the Enter key twice. This gets you into the networking menu of the scale. Press the right arrow key and then press Enter. This is where you will enter all 12 digits of the network IP address of your scale minus the decimals. For example, the IP address of my scale is 010000000234. Once you have the scale's IP entered, press the Enter key twice. This is the subnet mask. It will likely already match the subnet mask of the existing network. But if it doesn't, follow the same rules as the IP address and enter all 12 digits and press enter twice. Otherwise, just press enter. 
This is where you will enter the default gateway. Again, all 12 digits have to be entered. Mine is 010000000001 and then enter. When you're done with that step, press the mode key. The scale will beep three times and throw up this message. This is asking if you want to save your changes or cancel. Hit the enter key to save. The next message is telling you to restart your scale. Go ahead and turn it off and then back on. Now back to the computer. Double click on the orange scaling pro icon. The first thing to do is set up the database. Click on database setup. Here you can choose where to store the database for the scale. There is already a default location, but if you would prefer it to be stored somewhere else on your computer, you can click on the folder and pick somewhere else. Whether or not you choose a new location for your database, click OK. The program will hesitate for a moment while it creates the database. Once the computer stops thinking, click on the scale setup. The first thing to do in this new window is to click on the line that says remove before dot 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 and then click on the trash can and then click OK. You want to proceed. Now click on the blank paper because you are adding a new scale. Type in the scale's IP address here. You can use the tab button to jump between the boxes. 10 tab 0 tab 0 tab 234. Then click OK. In this window, you can rename your scale to whatever you would like. Leaving it as the IP address is just fine if naming it something else isn't more convenient. Click on the box next to the enable comms log. This allows the computer to log the scale's activity, so if there are any errors or odd occurrences down the road, there's a log file that might hold a clue and help solve the problem. If this is your only scale, the machine number can remain zero. Otherwise, enter the scale number here. Then click OK. Now close the window and click on the X. Scaling Pro will open up at this point. On the left hand side is the menu options. To test the communications with the scale, click on Scale Network Status under Scale Communication. You will see your scale. And it should say Enabled Yes, and if everything went well, it will say Yes under Connected. If, for some reason at this point, enabled or connected state no, please double check your IP addresses and firewall settings. And if that still doesn't solve the problem, please contact Globe Tech Support. So long as everything is still going well, on the left hand side click on send and receive. There is a drop down next to scale. Click that and choose your scale. Under the data type, choose bulk block of data. Here, click on the Receive button. This will transfer all the factory presets from the scale to the program to make sure they do not get accidentally overwritten. This concludes this video. For more information and how-to videos on how to operate your GSP-30B scale, please visit our YouTube channel. Also, our service department is happy to help if you have any questions. They can be contacted at 866-260-0522 or at techsupport at globefoodequip.com. Thank you and have a great day.